welcome day two of unit eight. Um, our notes say day three, but it is really day two. Today we're going to be adding and subtracting rational expressions. Now just like when we had fractions, if you wanted to add two fractions together, you had to have the same denominator. The same is true with rational expressions. So if we look at our first example, they both have the same denominator. So we can go ahead and add our numerators together. So 5 plus 7 over 3a, add the like terms. So 5 plus 7 is 12 over 3a. And now we always want to see if we can reduce it. And 12 and 3 both have a number in common, which is 3. 3 goes into 12 four times. 3 goes into 3 once. So we just have 1a, our a on the bottom. Okay, second example, again, we do have a common denominator, a plus 4. So we'll rewrite the problem with a plus 4 as our common denominator. And on top, we're going to have 3a plus 14 plus 2a plus 7. Let's add together our common terms. So 3a plus 2a gives me 5a. 14 plus 7 is 21. And that is all over a plus 4. Can't do anything else with that problem, so that would be our answer. Okay, coming over to this side, we do have the same denominator, so x plus 5. And when we add these together, we're going to have x squared plus 7x plus 10. Now while we can't, there's no like terms to add together, this does appear to be factorable, so we want to go ahead and factor it to see if there's anything that we can cancel. So the factors that multiply to 10 but add to 7 are x plus 5 multiplied by x plus 2, and all of that is over x plus 5. And just like when we were doing our multiplying and dividing, go ahead and put parentheses around your denominator. So that's just a reminder, those have to be canceled together. Now we have an x plus 5 in the numerator and the denominator. So our resulting answer is x plus 2 over 1, or x plus 2. Okay? Okay, look, ooh, here we've got subtraction. Key with subtraction. That subtraction sign is distributed to every term in the numerator. So we've got the same denominator, so that's a plus 3, but our numerator is going to be a squared minus 2a, minus a 15. So again, that minus sign is distributed to everything in the numerator. Now we go through and factor the top. So we get a minus 5 times a plus 3. All of that is over a plus 3. Let's put our parentheses. And we've got a plus 3 in both terms, so we can simplify that as, oops, a minus 5 is our answer. That looks like a 0. A minus 5. Okay, so let's see. What do we have to do to find a common denominator? Let's look at our first problem. 4 over 9t minus 7 over 6t. To find our common denominator, it's going to have to be something that every factor of both of these goes into. So 9t can be factored into 3 times 3 times t. 6t can be factored into 2 times 3 times t. So all our unique factors will be part of our common denominator. So 3 times 3 is 9 times t is 9t. I don't have a 2 yet in the denominator, so the denominator is going to be 2 times 3 times 3 times t from the beginning. Now, this 3 and this t are already in my common denominator. So my common denominator is 2 times 3 is 6 times 3 is 18 t. Now, what do I have to multiply 9 t by to get 18 t? So this needs to be multiplied by 2 over 2. Our second fraction, our 7 over 16, needs to be multiplied by 3 over 3. 2 times 4 is 8, minus 7 times 3 is 21. 
So 8 minus 21 is a negative 13 over 18t. So again, I was just trying to find the common denominator between these two, and then multiply whatever I was missing from the common denominator. So let's take a look at this next one. 9 and 12. 9 is 3 times 3. 12 breaks into 2 times 2 times 3. So my lowest common denominator has to have a 3, a 3, a 2, a 2, and this 3 is already accounted for by here. So it's 3 times 3 times 2 times 2. 3 times 3 is 9, times 2 is 18, times 2 is 36. So what do I have to multiply 9 by to get to 36? And the answer is 4. And we have to multiply by 4 over 4 because we've really we can only multiply a term, a single term by the number 1. And 4 over 4 is the same as multiplying by 1. To get 12 to be 36, I need to multiply this one by 3 over 3. And now we need to distribute. So 4 times x minus 4 plus 3 times x plus 5. All of this is over 36, or my lowest common denominator. And we distribute 4 times x is 4x. 4 times a negative 4 minus 16 plus 3 times x is 3x, plus 3 times 5 is 15, all over 36. And now we simply put in li our like terms, add them together. 4x plus 3x is 7x. Negative 16 plus 15 gives me a minus 1 over 36. We cannot simplify that any further. Okay. Next example, we've got a 4x in the denominator and an x. So my least common denominator is something they both can go into, which is 4x. I will not need to multiply the first expression by anything, because it already has a 4x in the denominator. However, the second one, I'm going to have to multiply by 4 over 4 to get the denominator of 4x. At this point, we're going to rewrite it with our common denominator of 4x. The numerator from this one was not multiplied by anything, so it stays as x minus 1. And now we have minus 2x plus 3 multiplied by 4. So we've got to be very careful here. We've got to distribute the 4 and the minus sign. So let's go ahead and do the first part. Distribute the 4. 4 times 2x is 8x. 4 times 3 is 12. This is still over 4x. Okay, we've got to distribute the minus sign. So everything inside this parentheses needs to be subtracted. So distribute this and we get x minus 4 stays there, minus 8x, minus 12, all of that over 4x. Now we're at the point we can go ahead and combine our like terms. So we have 8, I'm sorry, we have an x minus 8x. That gives us a negative 7x. Negative 4 minus 12 is a negative 16, all over 4x. There's nothing that can be factored out on the numerator or denominator that will cancel, so we'll go ahead and just leave it the way it is. I'm going to skip this problem to the right. Um, Come see me if you want to understand how to do that. But let's move on to the denominator, to the bottom left problem of the page. Here we've got x minus 1 in our denominator and an x plus 1. Although they both have x's, they're not multiplied together. So to get a common denominator, I have to multiply these two together. So my common denominator is going to be x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 1. So this fraction on the left. I need to multiply it by x plus 1 over x plus 1 to get the denominator that we decided was the least common denominator. The fraction on the right, I need to multiply by x minus 1 over x minus 1. 
So my denominators, we've already got written down. My numerator, I'm going to have x plus 1 multiplied by 5. So let's distribute that 5, and we get 5x plus 5. And we also have to distribute the 5 over here. So 5 times x and 5 times negative 1. Double check our sign, and we're adding. So 5 times x is 5x. Five, 5 times a negative 1 is negative 5. Let's see what we get when we add these together. 5x plus 5x is 10x. Positive 5 minus 5, those are just going to cancel. So we have 10x over x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 1. And that is our final answer for this problem. We cannot simplify that any further. Okay, last problem on this side. Here we have a y minus 3 in our denominator and a y plus 4. Okay, again, the y's are not multiplied, so our common denominator is going to be achieved by multiplying these two together. So this fraction is multiplied by y minus 3 over y minus 3, whereas the first one is multiplied by y plus 4 over y plus 4. Okay, our common denominator we get by multiplying those together. We said so x, or sorry, y plus 4 times y minus 3. And on the top, we've got y plus 4 times y. So let's distribute that y. y times y is y squared. y times 4 is 4y. And over here, we've got 12 times y minus 3. So distribute the 12. We've got 12y minus 36. Okay, let's rewrite this guy, because it looks like we've got some like terms that we can combine. So we've got y squared. 4y plus 12y is 16y minus 36 over y plus 4 and y minus 3. Now this first one, it looks like this is a quadratic, and I suspect we can factor this because 18 and 2 will multiply to negative 36, but a positive 18 and a negative 2 will add to 16. So we'll write this in our factored form of y plus, oops, plus 18 times y minus 2 over y plus 4 multiplied by y minus 3. Okay, so we factored it. Unfortunately, nothing factors, or nothing cancels out from the numerator and denominator. But we've checked at least to make sure that we can't cancel anything. This is our final answer. Okay, let's flip it over and try some that are a little bit more complicated now. Okay, and this is on the next video, so tune in once you're ready to start the backside of our notes.